In a previous video, we took a look at the Poly Studio X30 collaboration bar as well as the TC8 touch controller that can ship with it. That video was a greater in-depth video in terms of the products themselves, configuring them, all the components, and we're going to put the link to that in a card right above in this video. Feel free to check that out. Today, we're taking a look at flipping the TC8 and Poly Studio X30 into Zoom Rooms mode letting it reconfigure, and then going through the process of actually putting it into a test meeting and checking out the controls and behaviors and the experience of using the Poly Studio X30 as your Zoom room. Let's check it out. Okay, right now we have the Poly Studio X30 in the Poly mode. There are a few different modes. We can work in Poly mode or in Zoom rooms or Microsoft Teams, go to meeting and eight by eight. If we want to change from Poly into Zoom Rooms, we go to our dashboard by going to the IP address of the Poly Studio X30. We go to General Settings, click on Provider, and we will choose a different provider. We pick Zoom Rooms. Once we click Save, you can see that we're gonna go into a system reset. As we click on Save, the uh, admin center here or the, uh, the interweb interface tells us that we're gonna go uh, the system is currently restarting and we can see that the system is indeed restarting and reconfiguring over on the actual device itself and the TC8 controller that it is attached to. As a side note, I think that Poly's spinning Poly logo as their devices reboot and reconfigure is a pretty slick logo. Nice job, marketing. When you purchase the Poly Studio X30 or the X50, along with the TC8, they ship together and they are automatically paired together. You can see right now the TC8 says waiting for pairing and it gives its MAC address. As soon as the X30 comes back online, the TC8 will automatically detect, as long as they're both on the network, uh, that the other is there and they will automatically pair. All right, we are about done with our configuration of the Poly Studio X30 as a Zoom Room. You'll notice that we are no longer waiting for it to restart. We see it coming up on the actual room system itself over here and back at our admin center we are back at the login screen rather than the uh, waiting waiting to reboot screen and we're being prompted to put a new password in we're setting up Zoom rooms. We get another restart as it goes through that process, and we'll have to wait a short while for that again. But our TC8 now recognizes that we are in Zoom rooms mode. After the system booted up the first time into Zoom rooms, it uh, it came up and needed to restart once more. We logged into our web interface reset the password when prompted to, and we can see that it is indeed going through that auto restart once more. Okay, as the TC8 comes back up, we see that we've got a pair with the controller code up here. The TC8 came up, paired automatically, and we now see that we are in Zoom Rooms mode. We need to tap our controller to navigate and start. A couple things I wanna point out about the screen. We see we are in unlicensed room. Okay, we have not signed in and uh, we have a pairing code up top. Taking a look up close at the TC8, we've got a sign in button here. Now I have put the brightness level all the way down on the TC8. We still don't have it coming in as clear on the camera as it is on the actual screen of the TC8. We got a few options. We have our meet now, meeting list, join, presentation, and then phone. 
as well as our settings down here. Uh, we could shut the device down, reboot it, unpair the if we need to, uh, get our about information right down here. Gives us all the details, controller version, Zoom Rooms version, uh, same kind of things you'd see in other systems. Uh, we have the built-in camera, our built-in speakers, microphone, and again, an unlicensed room. We are prompted to sign in. At this stage, what I'll point out is that I don't have a Zoom environment set up and ready to go where I have a proper account for Zoom rooms. But we can click the start a test meeting and at least get a feel for our uh, for the video and the room starting up and seeing what the Poly Studio X30 and TC8 setup looks like when used as a Zoom room. All right, looking back at the whole picture there, if we just click start a test meeting, we have to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. We'll say, sure, I agree. And as soon as I agree, boom, we've got that wide angle, 120 degree field of view angle that the Poly uh, Studio X30 gives us and quite an immersive screen there. And looking on down at our options once more, we've got a number of in-call options there. Our meeting ID up top, the ability to share content, stop your video, mute yourself, change the view. If we change our view, we can do speaker or thumbnail or gallery if we're in a meeting with all that stuff. We've got one participant. Uh, we can start recording if we were actually in a meeting with a licensed room and signed in. Uh, chat capabilities, and then we can leave the meeting down at the bottom as well as uh, work on our volume and all that right on the side there. Our camera controls brings up a camera control view there. I will bring the camera back out just a bit. And we'll take a look at using the camera controls. We can zoom in. We can go up, go down, zoom in a bit more and get the optimal angle that we want. We can do auto framing, which should take over and auto frame us. And we've got the mirror effect down below. Auto framing is kicking in and framing us to what it thinks is the desirable picture. We'll say done and there we go. And that's all there is to putting a Poly Studio X30 with the TC8 into Zoom Rooms mode. Please note, we did not license anything or sign in with an actual Zoom Rooms account, but you at least get to feel for what it's like to trigger a test meeting and control all the different controls you get in the meeting from your TC8 controller. Thanks for watching.